Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? I'm back for another tutorial. I got a lot of compliments and questions about this look. So this is my club going up on a Tuesday night look. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'll be taking that Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in the color 10 Carat and placing that on the highest part underneath my eyebrow bone. Now taking this fluffy pink Sonia Kashuk blending brush, I'll be taking that color Morocco and blending my highlighter out and putting this color into my crease as a transition color. With this pointed Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow brush, I'll be placing the color Noir in my crease and carving out a V for a cut crease. Now taking my RC Cosmetics angled eyeshadow brush, I'll be taking the color fudge and blending the color noir up and out. Now I'm going to redefine my cut crease. I didn't carve it out good enough so I'm just going to be recarving that out and uh, again taking that hot fudge and blending those colors up and out. Now taking a damp elf eyeshadow brush I'll be placing this beautiful pink champagne color right in my lid, popping that on, packing that on. Oh, look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? Gosh, it just is such a gorgeous color. It really, really, really caught my eye and, and just stole my heart. So we're going to be just putting that all over my lid and building that color up. Now I'll be repeating some steps, just reapplying the color noir. Um, and redefining my cut crease after I applied the lid color. Just recarving it out and bringing it in a little bit and reshaping what I'd already had. Okay, with my RC Cosmetic Eyeliner brush, I'll be taking the NYX Gel Liner in Betty and just making a very dramatic wing. You know what I mean, taking all the way up and bringing that in and making a perfect eyeshadow, eyeshadow, <laughs> eyeliner line. Taking this Tarte Double-Ended Contouring Brush with the angled side, I'm going to use that for my foundation actually, I just got this, I love this brush. And I'll be blending out my L'Oreal Infallible Matte foundation with this. And I find that it's very soft um, and it blends seamlessly, so I love it. Taking that back of my ears, underneath my chin, up on my forehead, just blending that foundation out. Alright, taking my LA Girl Concealer in the color Toffee, I'll start highlighting underneath my eyes and concealing all the areas that I want to. Um, I'm not really going for the over highlighted under eye look, so I did not go too light with the under eye concealer. Um, 
yeah, so I'm just going to be taking that down my nose, popping that in my cupid's bow, popping it in my chin and on my forehead. Now taking another LA Girl Concealer in the color Espresso, I'll be carving out my contour with the Sani Kashuk Pointed Foundation Brush. And this is a cream contour before I put the powder over it. And I'll be contouring my nose as well. I will definitely have another video that has better lighting and more in-depth detail about how I highlight and contour. Now taking the same LA Girl Cosmetics Concealer, I'm going to just Put this underneath the contour to make a more defined line. I'm taking my Sonia Kashuk foundation sponge and I'll be picking up the NYX HD powder and just setting that highlight underneath my contour. Now taking my RC Cosmetics Basic Foundation Brush, I'll be picking up the color Peaches and Cream from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. I'll be setting my under eye concealer with this, and as you can see, it's a very subtle uh, highlight underneath. I didn't want it to be very dramatic, even though it's going out makeup. Then with the same Sonia Kashuk sponge, I'll be picking up the NYX HD Translucent Powder and putting that over the Anastasia. So right now I'll be taking the color Espresso from that contour palette and I'll just be going over my cream contour, making a really dramatic, like, you know what I mean, dramatic contour. Where you're going out, you want to look really good and I mean, I like to go for dramatic when I'm going out, so I'm just redefining everything and also contouring my chin. Taking this fluffy brush from Sonia Kashuk, I'll just be sweeping away the excess powders that have been baking in my face. Taking this RC Cosmetics Slanted Blush Brush, I'll be taking the bronzer from the Sonia Kashuk Chic Luminosity Bronzer Duo and going over my contour, sweeping that up and out. Okay, taking this itty bitty little Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow brush, I'll be reapplying that pink champagne color right in the corners of my eyes, making a very dramatic highlighted look. So what I do is I take um, a brush and I pull my eye down instead of using my fingers because fingers are gonna make an imprint and ain't nobody got time for that. So I take the brush and apply this NYC black eyeliner and then what I'm doing at the top lash is tight lining and that just is going to make a very 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 darkened look um, just to make it super super dr dramatic. So taking this black opal lip liner in the color Black Plum, I'll be lining my lips. I had chapstick on, but I wiped that off before I apply my lip products. And then you build the color up, and you're going to build it up more in the corners of your mouth creating some sort of a V on the corners of your mouth for the ombre effect. Now taking this angled eyeshadow or eyebrow brush from Sonia Kashuk, I'll be blending the colors out because 
I have no clue where my lip brushes are. I know, like, all my lip brushes are gone, so I'm just making do with what I have. Taking this Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick in the color Cherry Picking, I'll be applying that to the center of my lips, going over the blended out part, and then just blending it together, reapplying the lip liner and blending. Now I'll be taking the color Candy Yum Yum by Matte Cosmetics and putting that right, right in the center of my lips, concentrating that right in the middle to create an ombre effect. Now just relining and building the colors back up to redefine the outer ombre darker color. Next I'll just be taking the concealer and putting that around my lips and blending it out just so it make my lips pop. Now I'll be taking the highlighter tin carrot and highlighting my cupid's bow, my chin, and my nose. And there you have it! This is the finished product of this club look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back tomorrow with another video since my highlighting and contour and blush uh, all cut out. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you very shortly in another video.